Okay. This is your old depressed collapsitarian job seeker. Job seeker. Huh, there's a word I haven't used to describe myself in years here on uh on this hot, steamy Wednesday night, September 19th, 2018. Three days before my 59th birthday. Your old uh you're all, what the hell am I? Uh, <laughs> yes, you're all the unemployed chronicler of the collapse of global industrial civilization here in his gas-sucking truck heading into downtown Austin to uh, find out about getting an $11 an hour job in uh in austin texas now this is eleven dollars an hour plus tips because they're kind enough i'm i'm not going to give the name of this company so they don't stumble onto this video uh so basically what what this what this uh gig economy job is uh is kind of like an Uber service for package delivery uh, where instead of having clueless fucking morons in your car with you which is not gonna happen uh, you're just picking up whatever uh, packages you know take out food probably a lot of trips to the liquor store to uh, deliver packages to clueless morons who are too fucking lazy just to, to get off their fat asses and go get their own packages. So uh, anyway, I'm going to find out the details of how this works. Uh, I, I love going on their website. The first question is, do you have a car? Uh, <laughs> Do you have a car? Uh, yeah, uh, that was uh, that. That was the, the first question, and then of course they say if you do have a car, you need to have a clean driving record. I, I'm not entirely sure since it's your own fucking car. Why would you need to have a clean driving record? It's your own car that you're that you're driving around in. So, uh, you've got, uh, and, and I'm not sure what other kind of background check they're suggesting that they're going to put me through uh, so I can make $11 an hour, which I, I, I noticed driving by uh, Burger King and, and whatnot, I'm seeing signs for $13 an hour starting at hamburger joints in, in Austin, Texas. Um, so this is, this is me putting my five years of college and real estate licenses uh, to work so I can sit here and, and bang up my already old truck sitting in Austin traffic like I'm doing right now. Uh, I, I can spend my days being uh, slammed in Austin, te Texas traffic. Of course, it's a 17-mile drive just to get to Austin. So I've got, you know, let's call it 35 miles round-trip commute just to get here so I can sit here uh, stalled in, in Austin traffic uh, to make eleven dollars an hour plus tips so uh, we, we, we will see how my tips compare to uh, the tips that I make here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe for what I do for a living because obviously there is a lot more value uh, placed on you know it's a hell of a lot more this this culture and this society obviously rewards somebody 
you know, bringing you a pizza or carrying a beer uh, 30 feet across a bar than uh, this uh, society rewards, uh, you know, people talking about the single biggest event on planet Earth. Uh, so th this is as much as a, a another social experiment as it is a, a, a way to make money. I, I'm just curious to, you know, who is that Barbara Eisen? What was her, that woman who did that that excellent book called Nickled and Dimed? This is going to be kind of uh, like like my own version of that. I, I need to decide. You know, obviously, I, I guess there's going to be some sort of, some sort of uh, job application where they're going to ask, you, you know, what what have you done for a living? And I, 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 I don't know. Do I say that the last job I had was making a hundred thousand dollars a year? Uh, selling real estate to clueless fucking morons 10 years ago. I used to make $11 an hour. Well, I, I would have to, to figure that, I mean, $11 probably took me 10 years ago, I made $11 every seven or eight minutes. Uh, is uh, is what it took to make eleven dollars in Austin, Texas, ten years ago. So I love the website. So you go on there, you know, and and you click on careers uh, at this uh, at this company, and who they show as one of their model delivery men is this uh, this is very attractive young black guy probably about 22 or 23 years old with uh, dreadlocks, with long dreadlocks, that this is, I mean, right up there on the front of their website, sending you a subtle hint of, uh, the, of, of who they expect to show up for the job interview. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to take this camera in. Uh, I, I cannot wait to meet my fellow job applicants to make eleven dollars an hour plus tips in the uh, in the economy of Austin, Texas here uh, here in 2018. I was just talking to this friend of mine uh, you know catching up on her news of the summer she was telling me about her 20-something granddaughter who just got out of college. Uh, I guess she just graduated from college somewhere up there in Wisconsin or somewhere. And uh, she just landed a job. So she's right out of college. She is a website designer, a 20-something website designer. and. She sent out, I don't know how many applications she sent out, probably one, and she was immediately hired to be a website designer in Austin, Texas with a starting salary of over $100,000 per year. And you know, this is what these 20-somethings, uh, you know, these young, beautiful hipsters moving to Austin, Texas, uh, this is just what is expected, that they get out of college uh, and website design or whatever these young beautiful hipsters do and, and they just fully are feel entitled to step out of college and walk right into a $100,000 per year job. There you go. Uh, while here, here I am, that this, uh, for all intents and purposes, this 59-year-old fart with five years of journalism training uh, and my three real estate licenses, uh, 
you know, I, just a, a, extrapolating this out uh, at forty dollars, uh, forty hours a week. Let's say eleven dollars an hour plus tips. I mean, let, let's get really outrageous here and call it twenty dollars an hour. That would be forty times two. That's eight hundred. That's thirty-two hundred. About forty thousand dollars a year. If uh, I was going to be making twenty dollars an hour in Austin, Texas, uh, working full time with no benefits whatsoever, I would be making forty thousand dollars a year. I would be making uh, with a full time job with no benefits. Uh, this 59-year-old man would be making less than one half, less than one half uh, of what some kid fresh out of college uh, expects to be making uh, as a website designer. And, and you wonder why this fucking town uh, is, is just gone to hell. Uh, now, what was I reading? I guess the 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 median income, the median income in, in the United States of America now, meaning you no know, median income means half of people make over that amount and half make under is forty four thousand dollars a year. Forty four thousand dollars a year. Uh, so as I say. Ten years ago, I was making forty-four thousand dollars. I don't know what every every five months. Uh, and and I would have been continuing to make forty-four thousand dollars every five months if I had never become a doomsday prophet. Uh, so. Uh, a full-time job with no benefits, uh, the job that I'm going to look, look for here, you would still be uh, less than, than the median income. But of course, uh, you know, $44,000 a year is four times what I've been living off of per year. Uh, since I pulled my head out of my ass and decided to dedicate my life to being a doomsday prophet and the chronicler of the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. So this is what I have gotten for that decision. Uh, Let's see, eleven dollars an hour. So when I was hauling piss, when I was hauling piss, I was making. I believe, I believe when I was hauling piss, uh, what was that? Uh, Fifteen years ago, when I was hauling piss, I think I was making eleven twenty-five an hour, with, with very good benefits. Excellent health care, excellent vacation package, uh, $11.25 an hour hauling piss 15 years ago. Uh, and, you know, I left that job to go back in, into real estate uh, when I ran out of money. Uh, so here I am, out of money again. And, and the job I'm looking for with no benefits, uh, paying less than a job hauling piss in Austin, Texas 15 years ago. And if uh, anybody doesn't know what this wine is about, but uh, you know, th th this is it. I'm, I'm not a 20-something website designer. Uh, I will be delivering pizzas to 20-something website uh, designers. We will see how much one of these 20-something website designers 
uh, making over a hundred thousand dollars a year on their first job out of college are, are gonna pay this 59 year old drooling old fart uh, with five with probably more college than they have and uh, well 35 years of life experience in, in, in the working world uh, you know this is uh, I, I, I'm trying to keep my sense of humor I really am trying to keep my sense of humor oh god and I'm coming up here shortly to the they call it they, they, they call their little uh, slave quarters they affectionately refer to it as the runner's clubhouse. I'm going not to the driver's pit. We're not called drivers, we're called runners. That is, that is the official term. So I'm going to go check out my new runner's, my runner's clubhouse. And I'm very sad to say I will not be able to bring this camera in. I wonder if I can sneak the camera in my shirt pocket and surreptitiously record the chirpy little... My guess is it's going to be one of these little chirpy, hopefully some little hottie is going to be uh, telling us how lucky we are uh, in the year 2018 to be able to make $11 an hour plus tips uh, in Austin, Texas. Uh, and then maybe tomorrow I will uh, apply at Burger King to make $12 an hour no tips and it will remain to be seen whether I will be working for, is it the fourth year, I believe, at the Austin Optimist Club Christmas tree lot for twelve fifty an hour, and in my position, no tips. Uh, will Hambone be returning to the Optimist Club Christmas tree lot, or won't he? I guess a lot of it depends on how things go here in the clubhouse, which I am coming up to now. So wish me luck. I will keep you posted on this uh, unrolling uh, tragic comedy here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Bye, guys.